Welcome back. Good evening to all of you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? Why? Thank you. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome back to all of you. Okay, welcome back to all of you. 
We are almost ready to start now. I would like to be sure if you receive uh, a message today in your WhatsApp group explaining the way how you are going to feel uh, the last activity. Yes, teacher. Okay. Remember that you need to wait until that moment and I'm going to uh, explain you uh, at the right time in order to do it. So please don't do it before. Al momento de llenar la encuesta, eh, deben ser muy cuidadosos para tener todos los datos y la información necesaria a la mano. Pedirles que ese día, miércoles, si pueden, eh, los que tengan la posibilidad de poder entrar en una computadora, será más fácil para poder copiar la información e irla pegando en los campos ya que a veces en el teléfono es más complicado. Ok, teacher, de acuerdo. Recordemos que solo nos van a dar oportunidad de hacerlo una vez, entonces no deben de haber errores. Se les pide que no vayan a llenarlo antes, sino... Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. Esas indicaciones siempre se dan, pero eh, resulta de que en otro grupo siempre aparecen uno o dos que lo han hecho antes y como no han esperado indicaciones, a veces hay errores. Entonces, por eso se les pide que vayamos haciéndolo eh, todos juntos. ¿Verdad? Que eso va a ser el día el, el miércoles, la última sesión. Así es que tranquilos, ya eh, la información les llegó, eh, vean las, las veces que sean necesarias. Está bien, teacher. Ok. Sí, teacher. Y si tienen alguna preguntita... Eh, En estos días que nos quedan, pueden hacerla. ¿Alguna duda? ¿Cuál es el nombre de...? Bueno, en la, en la anterior creo que se equivocaron algunos en el nombre de su empresa. Algo raro porque se supone de que pasamos todos los días en el lugar de trabajo y que ya debemos de saber cómo es que se llama el lugar. Perfecto. Okay, um, how is the weather today in your areas? Can you tell me? How is the weather? Hello, how is the weather there? Well, let me see, we are going to start now. We are going to check up the attendance in order to stir. And uh, after that, what we are going to do is just a review about the previous topic. Do you remember the previous topic? that we have started. Yes or not? Okay, en lo que les paso lista, traten de, de recordar el tema previo que estudiamos. 
y recuerden que estuvieron haciendo algo al final de la clase y eh, hoy quedamos en que íbamos a, a hacer esa parte, ¿cierto? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Hey, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ajá. And another thing that I would like to tell you is that I've been uh, updating the, the grade chart. He estado actualizando el cuadro de notas. Solo esperando ya el cierre para poner la última. Así es que si no han terminado, hay que ponerse. Okay, today is Monday 25. Let me see, Ana del Carmen is there. Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen, no. Okay, eh, Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Present teacher. Welcome. Present teacher. No, no listen to me, teacher. Yes, yes. Can you okay. hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Present, teacher. Okay, okay. Hey, Giovanni. Teacher, no me mencionó. Cristina, Cristina, Cristina. Parece. Cristina, ahí estaba. Ya sabía que me iba a decir. Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Are you there? No. Ok. Gerson. Present. Welcome back. Thanks, teacher. Eh, José Miguel. José Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Juan Carlos. Maybe it is in traffic. It is in traffic. Eh, Karina Noemi. Present. Okay. Good luck in your test, Karina. Thank Bill you. David. Okay. Present. Linda. Present. Okay, okay. Maria Idalia. Present teacher. Welcome. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present. Thank you. Nancy Yvette. Present teacher. Welcome. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Ernesto. I haven't seen Rafael. I don't know why. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Welcome. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Suleima Verónica. Suleima. Siomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. En Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Here, okay. Okay, welcome back. We are close to finish this module, and I hope that you uh, have learned something new. I'm here to help you. And remember that 
I like that all of you participate in the class. So please let us make a review uh, and let, uh, let us know what the topic was about. Who wants to tell me something about the last class? Use the model verb cool to express possibility. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Maria. Just tell me. Example, teacher. Oh, okay, give me some example. You could request a day off. Ah, you could request a day off. Okay. If, if you don't feel well, you can request a day off. Ah, excellent. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else. Hello. Hello, hello. You had the material with you. You can see your material. In order to have an idea of what the topic. Another the example. The structure is subject plus school plus verb plus complement. Okay. An example, please. Um, mm -hmm. I could sleep on moment. Okay. What else? Emma's. Somebody else, please. We have only a three section in order that you can practice. So please try to do it now. He could play basketball. Ah, he could play basketball. Okay. He, if, if he finished the homework. Another example, Tisha. Okay, okay. She could sing in the band. She could think in the band, okay. Think. Excellent. What else? Tell me. Hello. Hola. Somebody else? Hello. Somebody else, please. Okay, remember that when we speak English with somebody else, uh, we do it with all the words that we have in our brains. What does mean? That means that I need to learn your vocabulary and, uh, and that way I'm going to use it in sentences, in paragraph, in conversation, but we need to have it in mind in order to use it. And for that reason is why we make a, a kind of review in order to know exactly if you still remember or if you keep in mind what we have studied before. And when you give me example, when you participate, you are telling me that you 
keep in mind the topic, right? Okay. Somebody else want to say something about this? The last one, the last one, please. The last one. Uno más, el último. I'm not still waiting. I'm waiting. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, let us start talking about the new topic there. Remember that you have the material, uh, but if you don't read it, you are not going to have a clear idea about what we are talking about. It. Then, your classmates, uh, also told you the, the structure that we are going to follow to create these kind of sentences. Subject plus uh, cool plus pair plus complement. Imagine that somebody uh, doesn't uh, come to work today. She could explain her situation tomorrow. Or maybe uh, she could talk to his or her supervisor or manager tomorrow, explaining the reason. And that way I'm, I'm using the word could, no? In a simple way. And also I remember that uh, you were working in some situation, like that one day if you don't have a car, if someone of your family is sick, uh, if you need to request a legal document, if you feel tired or sick, different scenarios where you can uh, you can use the, 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 the word or the structure that we have studied in the previous class. But what we need is just practice, practice over and over, over and over. Okay. I invite you to, to read a lot. You need to read a lot. Of course, I know also that you don't have uh, a lot of time to do this. At, at least you can do it half an hour, 10 minutes, different way, you know. Try to keep it reading. And that way you are going to keep in touch with the language. Because if you don't see the material, if you don't read, if you don't look in your dictionary some words that maybe you don't know, it's going to be difficult. And also at the same time in your in your novel, you you Maybe some of you have uh, the vocabulary of each class. But all the pen, all the pen. All the pen. Okay, we already talked about the review. I have um, new people here talking about when I call by, by list. Okay, this is uh, the session number 18. We already talked about that review of the work could. 
And now we have this question. We are going to start with this question. What happens if an employee in your company show up late? What do you do when you are six and can work? Okay, only do you think in this question, please, and give me an answer. I'm going to give you like two minutes in order that you can uh, organize your ideas to give me the answer to this question. You can make a screenshot if you want. And let's do it now, please. Okay, tell me. What can you tell me about the first question? Okay, I'm going to read it again. What happened if an employee in your company shows up late? Do you understand the question? Teacher. My microphone is. Teacher. Hello. No, vamos a ver lo de la página 43. It's going to be tomorrow. Because I'm following the my lesson plan is in that way. De acuerdo al lesson plan, eh, la veremos el día de mañana. Es que no se preocupen. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 waiting for your answer. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What do you do when you are six and can work? It's the second question. But I need that you give me an answer. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, please. Volunteer. Preguntando como qué sucede, vea, o qué pasa cuando un empleado está llegando tarde a la empresa. Yes. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? late? ¿Qué sucede si un empleado llega tarde a su compañía? What do you think? Uh, what do you do when you are thick and can work? Just tell me your answer. Share with me, with me what you think. Hello, are you there? Do you, do you have an answer for this question or not? Yes. 
Yes, share it with me, please. I know that you can do it. Okay, come on, go ahead. Okay, no answer to, to that, to those questions. Um, teacher, uh, okay, Mark, Mark. Uh, in this, you is you do not pass permission. The seven is discounted. Ah, ah, okay. If you don't have any permission, and if you arrive after seven, it's going to be a discount. Discount. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, in my company, uh, uh, if someone is late, uh, nothing happen. Nothing. Nothing happen. Nothing uh, happen. Nothing happen. We know all responsibilities. Eh, truth exists. Existe confianza. Ah, Digamos, trust, to, okay. Todos conocen sus responsabilidades. Okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. What about somebody else, please? Somebody else tell me. There is a call for attention. attention. Okay. It is like a, a warning. It is like a warning, right? Okay, what else? Me teacher. Christina, tell me. In my case, in my case, when it goes over is 25 minutes, they say it back is the return okay we are we are having problem with the with the audio but uh let me let, let me let me see if i got you exactly after 25 minutes if somebody arrived he sent to his or her house. Is that right? Yes. Los, los regresan a la casa. Jesus. No payment that day. No money. Yes. When well, don't have permission. Okay. O comprobando. Jesus. It's really difficult. Yes. Okay, what, what about the second question? I don't know if uh, somebody ha has a, an answer for it. Do you remember the second question? What do you do when you are sick and can work? What do you do? Do you remember a, an expression that we studied like three or four days ago? There is something uh, that we use calling sick. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Okay, the first it. is a uh, calling in sick and maybe then I go to the hospital in a doctor. To get a prescription or something like that in order to present it to your boss, right? Well, maybe if you go to the social... 
To my boss. To your boss. Okay. Okay. Okay, based on the two questions, um, it is related to the conversation that we have for today. In the first question, uh, say what happened if an employee in your, in your company show up late? Is it, yeah, maybe if you are the boss, you can give him or her an awareness, yeah, call his attention and so on. And in your case, if you, uh, are sick and if you can go to work you have different options right okay uh, we are going to read this conversation and later on we are going to practice with somebody else the conversation is between brad and annie so please let us read it hi annie how is it going hello brad i am fine and you I am okay. Sense. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calling or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow explaining the situation, yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. As you can see, based on the picture that we have on the right, they are speaking, they are talking about that situation. I'm going to read again. And let me get big at this one, not that you can see it very well. Oops, a little bit, okay. I'm going to repeat again. Hi, Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss called him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification of work. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, is it is clear? Or do you have a question about this? Just let me know, please. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Somebody, somebody wants to read it? Or somebody have, uh, anybody has any question, please? Just let me know. No teacher. No question? No teacher. Okay. So please, I need, uh, somebody wants to read it? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, Nancy. Do it. Any? How is it going? Hello, Brad. Hi, I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a work doesn't come to work?
tour, he or she received a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I don't show up to work today. I understand. Understand. If you see your situation, yeah, I think I will to ten. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, you are doing well. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Bran. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thank. Look, I want to ask you, does those your boss do when I work at those come to work? Well, if someone does come, my boss call him over here. And when the person returns, he already said, received a notification or warning. Why, Brown? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him this, this situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Eddie. Okay. Uh, remember that the moment that you are going to uh, do this conversation, uh, I guess it's going to be better if you use your own names. At the moment that you are going to do it, okay? Try to use your own name in order that you get more close, get more familiar with this. I'm going to read the last time and later on you are going to start uh, practicing in a breakout room. So please pay attention. Uh, I'm going to read it slowly and then I'm going to read it like uh, in a normal speed in a conversation, okay? Hi, hey, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification of work. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. And now I'm going to do it like when somebody is speaking in a natural way. Remember that at the moment that you are going to do it, you are going to do it uh, in your own pass. Es decir, lo van a hacer a su, a su velocidad. No es que van a ir rápidos. No, no, no. But in my case, I, I, I need to read it in different way in order that you get familiar with the sounds. Okay, imagine this. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker does, doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calling on her, and when the person returns, she or she receives a notification or, or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand if you see your boss tomorrow, explaining the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Let us practice with somebody else. Any question before to go to the breakout room? No? No question? No question. No teacher. Raquel? No teacher, no question. Oh, okay, okay. We have 20. Mm. It's gonna be one group of three. Okay. 
Here we go. And in room one is going to be Anna Cristina, Marvin, and Norma try to make the role play. In order that all of you can uh, practice, please. Let me see the time that we are going to assign. It's going to be three minutes. Okay. Let us do it now, please, and practice. Here we go. Cristina, 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 Julia, Julia, somebody's waiting for you, Julia. Okay, right now all the participants are practicing the conversation. So we need to wait for them in order to see how they're going to do it in front of the class. Okay, welcome back. Let us practice now. Who wants to do it? Juan Carlos, do it. Okay, Marlene. Do it, Marlene. Okay. Hi. Hi, Marlene. How is it going? Hello, Juan Carlos. I'm fine. You? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she reviews a notification or warning. Why, Juan Carlos? Well, because I did not show, show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him this situation. Yeah, I think I will do that 
Thanks, Marlene. Okay, thank you to both. Okay, somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Teacher, podría compartir la pantalla. Okay, 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 just let me know. Um, okay, here we go. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Stephanie. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Sumara. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Then, look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a work doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't, my boss call him on here. And when the person return, he or she receive a notification or warning. Why, Xiomara? Well, because I didn't show, show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him their situation. Yeah. I think in, I will do that. Thank Annie. Okay, thank you. I didn't show up, show up, show up. Show up. Yeah, show up. Show up. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else, please. Hello. Hello, Hello. Ronaldo. Beginning. Okay. You and me. You. Okay. Hi, Ronaldo. How is it going? Hello, Hello, Hershon. I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him on her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Erson? Because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah. I think I will do that. Thanks, Ronaldo. Okay. Okay, thank you. I like that. When, when we are practicing some, uh, a conversation, we, are, we need to do it naturally, you know? Like we are speaking with somebody else. That is the way that we have to improve, to continue doing that way. Okay, somebody else, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Empieza, Raquelita. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Raquel. I am fine and you? I am okay, then. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, he's someone doesn't come, my boss call in or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Raquel? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I, uh, I understand. Is you see you bo your boss tomorrow? Explain is the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Raquel. Okay, thank you. 
somebody else. Somebody else, please. Alguien más? I, I have 18. Tengo 18. Veamos cuántos han participado. How many pairs? Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me see somebody else, please. Uh, me, teacher, and Linda. Okay, nice. Okay. Yes. Hi, Nancy. How is it okay. going? Empiezo yo si quiere. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Nancy. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Nancy? Well, because I didn't show to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do to that. Thanks, Annie. Linda. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, that is the way. We need to practice. We need to practice over and over, over and over, you know? Okay, thank you. Okay, before to go to the next activity, I need that you pay attention in the words in bold that we have in the conversation. Antes de pasar a otra actividad, Quiero que le preste atención a las palabras que están en negría. We have when, if, when, if. What can you tell me about these words? Okay, think, think. Piense, piense, piense en lo que le paso lista. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Cristina. Present. Giovanni. Present teacher. Harrison. Present. José Miguel. José Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Karina is there. Uh, Present. Linda Ibet. Present. Maria Idalia. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present. Teacher. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. 
Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Okay, Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. En Ana Cristina Chavarría. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, in order to continue, um, we are going to work in the exercise number three. And I need that you scramble the statement below. That means that you are going to put in order the words to create sentences or questions. For example, the number one say receive notification, she arrives, the employee went ah. You are going to order. Okay. Then the second one, your boss doesn't work what? Two to go doesn't a worker. It is a question and a number three. Kolai, my boss don't work if two. I show up. Okay, you have uh, like a uh, four minute learn that you do. Okay, I don't know if uh, maybe Harrison, do you finish? Not yet.
Did you finish? Hello. Okay, who wants to tell me uh, the number one, please? He receives notification when the employee arrives. You, could, could, could you repeat again, please? She receives notification when the employee arrives. When the employee, when the employee yeah, arrives. There, 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 there is something missing because you need to use all the words. And then you use todas las palabras. Teacher. Yeah. When the employees arrive, she receives a notification. Okay, could be in that way. Mm. Or you can say in this way. Uh, she received a, she received a notification when the employee arrives late. Oh, okay. Be in, be in that way too. Okay. Late. What, what, what well, about that? Late, no está. Oh, sí. Late. Yeah, you don't have no. the words late here. Yeah, you could be only yes, uh, when, when the employee arrives. It is implied that uh, somebody arrived late or didn't show up. Okay, number two, please. The second one. The second one, please. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Okay, what does your boss do? What does your boss do? Okay. Missing the word if there also because it's going to sound better if the, uh, if we put the word if the worker doesn't go to work. Okay, num and the last one, number three, please. Hello. The last one. Number three, please. Ejercicio tres. Ejercicio tres. Ah. 
I. I call my boss. Okay. If, if I don't show up to work. Okay. If I don't show up to work. I call my boss. My boss if I don't show up to work. Okay. Okay, remember that uh, at the end of the page, we have some link. Let me show you. At the end of the page, we have uh, these two link that you can see it later on. And the third one, uh, as soon as you watch the video, you are going to listen that and see that some people are talking about introducing employees. Do you remember the first time when you arrived to your job? What happened? Can you share with us your experience? Imagine if uh, suddenly you are right into a play that uh, what you are going to do, you don't know how to do it. That means that somebody else is going to give you a training. Do you remember the, the first time that you are right to your job? And your boss or your supervisor start telling you all your duties that you had to do. Hello. Do you remember that? No. The video talks about that when somebody gets a uh, the first time I write to a company. Uh, in mo most of uh, places, when new people get in or, or, or come to work, they uh, start training all these people in order that they can produce what they are expecting. And that is the main topic of the video is that that most of the companies uh, give training to their workers in order that they produce what they are expecting. Okay, I invite you to watch the video later on. And in the group, I have sent a document that I need that you read it. You are going to read it, so please take a look of it. Asking for permission. It is asking for permission. Do you have it? Yes. Yes. Okay, let us read it in in trios. I'm going to rearrange this. You are going to read it in trio, right? And later on, you are going to share with me. And with the rest of the class, what did you understand about? Ok, let us read it now. Ok, lo que vamos a hacer es que en el breakout room 
Eh, somos tres, vamos a tomarnos cada uno un espacio para leer y luego vamos a ir viendo qué es lo que entendimos de la lectura. Si el tiempo no nos es suficiente, ya veremos qué más podemos hacer. Ok. Let us do it now, please. Julia, Julia. Okay, I, I, I don't know if, if the time was enough in order that you read the two phase or not. No, only two. At least uh, I consider that you read the third page.
But based on that, uh, can you tell me what did you understand about the reading? ¿Qué comprendió de la lectura? Tell me. Tell me, please. Okay, in the third paragraph, uh, we can find a set the topics asking for permission. It may seem off, but I enjoy working with big companies. More precisely, I enjoy helping the people who are there, having been an employee in a large corporation for decades, I can relate to what employees experience. I know that many, learning arrow they have to face in the workplace and how they can affect you over time. One of those things is having to ask for permission. Okay, what else? No good tips. Not all companies are the same, of course, but there seems to be a many about control, about the manager having to know and approve of what each of his diary report are ah, the military language is doing. And sometimes it is about money. Can I buy pizza for my team to celebrate our milestone? Sometimes it is about time. I've been invited to a free conference to learn from other companies. May I go? Sometimes it is just about control. Okay, as you can see here, what, what is the main topic? Tell me, what is the main topic? El tema principal, ¿cuál es? Asking for permission. Ah, okay, okay. Asking for permission. That means that, uh, okay, necesito que ustedes me lo digan porque no, 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 yo les puedo decir ya mi concepto, pero necesito saber qué es lo que entendió de lectura. ¿Sí? Just give me a brief, a brief idea about the reading, please. There are key words there in the reading. En la lectura hay eh, palabras claves que you can mention me. Because the person that who wrote this is, uh, is telling us, is sharing with us some experience. Because he or she remember when uh, he or, or she was invited to give a talk related to his or her project to another location. And what happened there? Tell me. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Okay. I understand it. Ask for permission. Okay. Ask for permission. Okay. What else? It is difficult because um, it's very maybe busy or 
because he's uh, working with big companies and the employees are helping uh, the other people. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Por ahí vamos, okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Tell me. What else do we have in the reading? And also there, there, there are some questions there. And one says, if you are a manager, you might start by asking yourself a question the next time you feel the need for control. Is this necessary? Rule and policies are fine, but stop incredibly and engagement hard everyone, including manager, because sometimes they are so, so strict, you know? And you are uh, an employee, you are trying to do your work in the best way, but suddenly maybe a need could occur and you have to go to ask for permission. And it is difficult to find out in a company where they say, okay, I trust you to do what you think is right. Don't worry, please go ahead. But that is the main goal. Because imagine that you are asking for permission every week. And maybe you have a problem that all depend of the way how you are going to ask for permission. There are different ways how you can do it. There are a lot of ways how you can explain this the situation to the person in charge of that. Okay, you can continue reading it later on. Okay, now uh, we need to see something else. Okay, let us study. How we are going to use uh, if and when to join clauses. Before to explain this, you need to be clear what is the meaning of the word if and when. If you understand it, it's going to be easier in order that you can understand it. Okay. When and if have a similar meaning, we use when for usual situation and if for unusual situation. What what what, what this mean? What does uh, usual situation means? And what does a usual situation mean? Both clouds have to be in simple present. Listen this. Ambas cláusulas deben estar en presente simple. Use a comma when if or when come at the beginning. Y vamos a usar una coma cuando la palabra if o when vengan 
al inicio de la oración o pregunta. But before to continue with the example, I would like to clarify this. What is an uh, usual situation? What is that? What is an usual situation? And what is an unusual situation? Okay, I need uh, somebody wants to read the, the first uh, example. Hello? Me, teacher. Okay, Marlon. Uh, what do you what do you do when you forget your tool for work? Ah, okay. That means that this is a usual situation. Es una situación que se da se podría dar a menudo. Okay, but what about this one? Could, would you like to read the next example at the right? What do you want to do, it, please? El ejemplo que sigue a la, a la derecha, por favor. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? Ah, okay. What do you do if you miss? The company transportation. ¿Qué hace usted si? Oiga bien, si. La deja el transporte de la empresa. Significa que eso es algo inusual. Ok. What about this example? Who wants to read it? Me. Okay, tell me. As for a backup set when I forget my toll. I ask for a backup set when I forget my toll. Okay. This is an option, right? And what about this one at the right? I call a taxi. If I miss the company transportation. Okay. Excellent. I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. And also you can say I call a instead of say taxi, you say I call an Uber. Yeah, different. Or I ask to maybe a relative to give you a, a ride to your company. Yeah. Okay, what about this? When I forget my tool, I ask for a backup set. Okay, right here we don't have a, a, as you can see, according to the explanation that we have here, we are using a comma because uh, the sentence starts with the word when. Cuando. La oración comience con when o if, entonces llevará coma justamente en la primera cláusula. When I forget my tools, mire, cuando yo olvido mis herramientas, I ask for a backup set. And this example said, if I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, take a look of it. And if you have any question, just let me know. Uh, what happens, for example, if you just read the fair close until the comma. It may send for you. ¿Qué sucede, por ejemplo, si usted solo lee la primer cláusula? Eh, ¿Tendrá sentido para usted? No, teacher. Uh-huh. 
Huh. Okay. Um, imagine when, when you say, when I forgot my tools, what happened? I asked for a backup set. Okay. Uh -huh. What else we can say about this? Right here, it, it is clear how you are going to use it. But let us go a little deep. Vamos a irnos un poquito hacia más abajo. Okay, hold on. Second, please. Okay. If I have a if or when, we use if to introduce a possible or unreal situation or condition. We use when to refer to the time of a future situation or condition that we are certain of it. For example, I can say you can only go in if you got your tickets. And also we can say when I'm model, older, I love to be a dancer. But don't worry about this. It is just uh, an extra information that is going to clarify what we are talking about. Okay, we need to compare these two uh, sentences. If guy will come back to the office, can you tell him I gone home? The speaker does not know whether guy is coming back to the office. It is possible, but not definitely. Okay, and when I use when, when guys come back to the office, can you tell him I gone home? The speaker is certain to guys coming back to the office. Es decir, uno es uh, an usual and usual, right? Now uh, take a look at this. To talk about situation and condition that are repeated and predictable, we can use either if or when. Let the present bear firm. For example, you can write if you are 17. How can I switch this uh, sentence? ¿Cómo puedo cambiar? Y que lleve coma. How can I do it? Tell me, please. When you when you are even seventeen, you can drive. Or you can use the, the because what you are going to do is just to see the position. Lo que vamos a hacer es quizás solo cambiar de posición, aunque usemos las mismas que están ahí, las mismas palabras. If you are, if you are 17, you can drive. You can drive. If you, if you are 17, coma, you can drive. You can drive. Okay. What about the second one? If you do not enough wood, the fire goes out. Do you know what is the meaning of the word wood? Madera or leña. Yes, in this case, it's the last one. Because we are talking about the fire. If you don't add enough wood, the fire goes out. And how we can switch it? ¿Cómo podemos cambiar la que no lleve con? You don't have an output if the fire goes out. Mm. 
forest. The, the fire goes goes out if you don't add a now good. Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, what about the, the, the third one? When we go camping, we usually take two tents. Switch it, please. Cambienla. We usually take two tents when we go camping. Okay, excellent. And the last one? She gets out of brief easily when she's jogging. When she's jogging, she gets out of break easily. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Let me see what else do we have here. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see what I'll do here. Okay, and let us uh let me show you this, please. Remember this. Remember this. What's going on? Okay, practice my perfect right. Oops. What's going on here? Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm having some problem. I need to move a little bit the picture in order that you can see it very well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, uh, when we use if, it is like, uh, like the meaning is in, in, in the event that it is sunny tomorrow, we can go to the park. If it is sunny tomorrow, we can go to the park. And how can I wish it and, and switch it? We can go to the park if it is sunny tomorrow. Okay. What about the, the second one? If I receive a promotion, you will be the first to know. Switch it, please. You will be the first to know if I receive a promotion. Okay, okay. And the last one say you can. You can watch TV if you finish your homework. Or we can switch it. If you finish your homework, you can watch TV. Okay, okay. What about with when? When means at that time. Somebody want to read the first one, please? When I come in the room, everyone look at that time. Look at me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how how how, how sleeping? How? Yeah, I, I see. How can we change it? Oh, 
¿Cómo la podríamos cambiar? Everyone look at me when I came in the room. Yes. And the uh, second one say I woke up when my baby was crying. We can switch it when my baby, when was, my crying, baby was crying. I, I woke, woke up. Okay, and the last one, I started looking for a place to stay when I decided I wanted to live here. Okay, but don't get, don't get confused. Uh, I'm going to explain you why. Por eso les dije que nos íbamos a ir un poquito más a profundo, porque aquí estamos hablando ya de otros tiempos. But in your level, pero en su nivel, ahorita solo nos interesa más to talk about uh, to talk about simple present. Eso es lo que más nos, nos interesa. Talk about situations that are happening in, uh, in your office. Imagine uh, you can say when, when my boss uh, didn't show up in the company, uh -huh. what happened? I had to call him, I had to send him or her a message, or what else? ¿Qué más puede suceder? But you need to use uh, when and if. And maybe in another level, you are going to study uh, this uh, two words. Muy pronto en otro nivel van a estudiar que esas dos palabras pertenecen a algo que se llama subordinating conjunction. Pero ahorita no es eh, como el nivel para que ustedes puedan uh, comenzar a, a, a ver ya el uso de, de este tipo de... de the expressions and also to talk about subordinated clause and independent and dependent clause and etc. Not right now. Just a, it is an extra info that I'm giving you. Okay, now what you are going to do is that you are going to write down some uh, policies that you have in your, in your workplace. And you are going to use uh, when and if. Lo que van a hacer es que van a escribir algunas políticas que tiene su empresa y en ella vamos a hacer uso de la palabra when o if. Ok. Try to, to do it now, please. You have one minute to do it. How you are, how you can do it? Como puede hacerlo? Well, it's up to you. If you want, you can start with the word if or the word when. But if you don't want, you can put it at, at the middle. Pero si usted no la quiere poner al inicio, también puede ir en medio, ¿sí? For example, somebody could say, I arrive earlier to my office when my boss is out of the country. Okay, try to do it now, please. What about if, we, if you try to do it in, in pairs? 
para que lo hagamos más rapidito. Tratemos de hacerlo en pareja. Ok, let me, let me move a little bit. I'm going to recreate. It's going to be nine. Ok, I'm going to give you three minutes. Here we go. If and when close. Linda and Julia. Somebody is waiting for you in the room three. Right now, a student are creating some sentences using the if and when clause. Teacher. Hello. Voy entrando a la plataforma. Me, me sal, no sé, me, sal, me salí de sin querer. Me sacó la plataforma. Really? Yes. Are you really sorry? I apologize for that. Okay, for example, I could say, when I don't have, when I don't have a, a good connection, when I don't have a good connection, I feel sad. How can I switch it? I feel sad when I feel sad. If I don't have a good connection. Ah, okay. But you are using if, but what about when? 
I feel sad when I don't have a good connection. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué? Porque es usual que no, de repente no tenemos buena conexión. No es inusual. Sino que de repente a cualquiera se nos va la señal. Ok. Give me more example, please. I need that you participate. Go ahead. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Hello. Uh, uh, example, uh, you can have a bonus if you meet your goals. You can, okay, repeat again, please. You can have a bonus if you meet your goals. Hmm. Oh, 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 that is uh, usual or unusual? Será usual o inusual? Ah, okay. <laughs> inusual. <laughs> okay, pero la idea está ahí. Me gusta, me gusta. Okay, I like that. Okay, somebody else, please. Somebody else, please. Me teacher. Okay, Ana Cristina. Okay, Ana Cristina. If I forget my access card, I cannot enter the office. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Excellent. What else? ¿Qué más? Me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, if I am late, I must present permission. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Me teacher, only okay. one. Only one? Yes. Okay. When, when I forget comprobant for the permission, don't signature. Don Reinaldo Castro is going to stay with me today, okay? Okay, your example is when you could, could you repeat, please? Sorry. When forget comprobant for permission, don't signature. Sign uh, when I forget the proof of my permission, I didn't sign. Uh -huh. Same. Talking about firmar, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. What else? One using if. If we don't meet the salt goals, my bot gets angry. Gets angry. <laughs> yes. Okay. When you don't participate, mm -hmm, what happened? Don't practice. I worry, I worry when you don't when you don't want to participate, I worry. And I say, come on, do it, do it. I, I don't see Rinaldo. Where is it? Oh, is there Mr. Castro? Are you there? Yeah, I am here, teacher. Okay, today you are going to have the opportunity to ask me any question that you have at the end of the class. Is that possible for you to stay with me at the end of the class there? You stay in my turn. Okay, yes, it's your turn. Okay, any questions so far from here? 
about how you use uh, if and when. No question. No. Okay, in Spanish. In Spanish. But it's just that they do that. That slip your mind. Do you remember that? What is the meaning of slip your mind? Hello. El siguiente día que les pregunto el tema de ahora, a los que no participaron, aplican ese idiom. And you say I sleep my mind. Y se, se hacen que se les olvida. Please, I need that you participate. If you don't do it now, you can do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. Remember that we are so close to finish. Only just two days. And at the end, you are going to evaluate this model and you are going to say by yourself, well, I learned this and so on. Solamente nos quedan dos sesiones. Al final, usted se evaluará solita y solito y dirá, en este módulo aprendí esto, eh, participé, no quise participar, el teacher siempre nos dijo que participáramos, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ya? Ok. Bueno, well, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No question. No. No question? No. Okay. Let me see the time. Okay, we it is enough. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good night. Bye bye. See you later. I'm going to stay with Reynaldo Castro. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Teacher, no toma asistencia. Ah, la asistencia. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <risa> Mire pues que ya no, hoy, hoy, hoy que estoy queriendo enviarlos temprano porque ya son los últimos días se me olvida hasta la asistencia por quererlos enviar temprano Dios mío qué le pasa al teacher pero mire están pendientes mire y más algunos que tuvieron problemas de conexión ahí está Hold on a second, please. Okay, recordarles antes, eh, así en español, que ya estoy actualizando el cuadro de notas. Eh, solo estoy esperando ya la semana cuatro. Ya las semanas anteriores ya deberían de estar. Pero hay algunos ahí que todavía les hace falta, si es que los invito a que hagan todo lo necesario. Y relacionado a la encuesta final, ya les llegó la información, pero les voy a pedir que no lo vayan a hacer antes. Tenemos que hacerlo justo en el momento y el día indicado. Please, Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. Ángel. Present teacher. Present teacher, perdón. Ok, don't worry. Cristina. Present. Giovanni. Present. Person. Present. Eh, José Miguel. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Karina is there. Linda y Beth. Present teacher. María y Dalia. I am here teacher. Ok, María Julia. Present. Okay, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Marvin. Present teacher. Ok. Nancy. Present. Present teacher. Norma. 
Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. No lo vimos a Rafael hoy. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. It is the first time that I see this, uh, your last name. Albayero. Albayero. Yeah, it is, the, it is the first time that I hear it. It looks like, la, like Colombian. <laughs> Suleima. Suleima Veronica. No está. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, and Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Okay, thank you. I'm so I do really sorry. Okay. I hope to see you tomorrow. We are close to finish. So please have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome back, Mr. Castro. It is a pleasure to see you here. I don't know if you have any question about any topic that we have studied or any comments that you want to make now, you can do it. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Veamos, lo vamos a ver así de más, más, más fácil, más like. Centrémonos en el presente. Sí, centrémonos en el presente y eh, existen dos categorías. El when, cuando son cosas usuales. Sí. Sí. Y el if, cuando son cosas inusuales, que son como, dijéramos que, como un tanto irreales. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, usted dice, if I, if I found a briefcase full of money, si yo me encontrase un cartapacio lleno de dinero, yo no, know, esas son cosas como inusuales, ¿no? But let us talk about the activity, the policy that we do in our company. Hablemos de las políticas que suceden en, en, en la empresa. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, viene usted y dice, voy a crear una usando when. Así. En, en español. Hagámosle en español primero. Para que se le haga más fácil. Imagínese, por ejemplo, usted dice, bueno, esa ya la, la repetimos mucho. Una de las políticas de una empresa es que cuando una persona llega tarde eh, o en el momento que llega o el siguiente día recibe como una advertencia, ¿sí? O lo mandan a llamar a la oficina. Pero ese ejemplo ya, ya lo vimos muchas veces. Eh, but you can say, when I need to ask for permission, cuando yo necesito pedir permiso, ¿sí? Yeah. Ahí voy a, llevar, voy a llevar una coma. ¿Qué seguiría? Para completar la oración. ¿Cuál seguiría la otra cláusula? Mm. When I need to ask for permission, I go to the manager office. Yo voy a la oficina del gerente, podría ser. Yeah. ¿Estamos claros ahí? Sí, sí, sí. O, por ejemplo, viene usted y dice, When I forget my computer, cuando yo olvido mi computadora, ¿qué sucede? Otra cláusula. 
I call my, my partner. I call, could be. I could be. Mm -hmm. Podría ser. Ahora eh, hagamos una usando if. Que el if esté al inicio. If, if you win the lottery. <laughs> yeah, could be. If you win the lottery, you can buy a car. Okay. Si usted se gana la lotería, usted puede comprar un carro. O sea, es algo inusual. No pasa tan frecuente. No sé si hoy eh, con esos ejemplos ya nos quedó más claro. Sí. Sí, lo que pasa es que me había quedado alguna duda por ahí. Ah, ok. Sí. Ok. Uh, ¿Le gustaría hacerme un ejemplo con cada uno? Where are going to finish? Where are they going to finish the job? When are they going to finish the job? But there, there is something that is missing. Recuerde que el when en estos casos no lo estamos usando como para hacer una pregunta. ¿Me comprende? Sí, sí. Por ejemplo, eh, cuando usted dice, when I left my, my keys office inside, o when I left my keys inside my office, I, ¿qué sucede? Cuando yo dejo las llaves de la oficina adentro. When I forget my keys. Ah, ok, could be, when I forget my keys, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el resultado? I call my friend. Yeah, could be. Could be. Okay, excellent. Excellent. That is the way how we are going to use it. And remember that when we are going to use it at the beginning, we are going to use a comma in the middle to separate both clauses. Mm -hmm. But if you are going to put it in the middle, you are not going to need any commas. Si el bueno el if va al inicio, necesitamos una coma para separar las dos cláusulas. Yeah. Pero si eh, ambas van al centro o en medio, como querramos decirle, entonces no necesitamos coma. Okay. Estamos ahí. OK, excellent. Any question? No. No question? Okay. Clear. Okay. Thank you very much. And I hope that you have learned something new in this new module. Le agradezco y espero que le haya servido de mucho este, este módulo, el cual ya estamos próximos a finalizar. No, yo, te, yo he tenido bastante paciencia porque empecé de, de, de un principio. Y he, he ido porque quería adelantar, pero el, el señor me dijo, empiece de un principio y pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Ya, ya estamos aprendiendo bastante. Sí. sí, eso es importante porque viene que a veces, aunque los niveles sean básicos, hay cositas que, que, que se, 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 se van, le olvidan. Se van a es que el punto es que uno no, no tiene con quién practicarlo. Pues si Ese es el problema. Mi señora está estudiando actualmente también en la, en la academia. Sí. Y ahí, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Ahí está, entonces váyanse poniendo del tú al tú. Sí. Y ese es el problema que yo he tenido problemas serios porque por el inglés, pues una, una vez me hicieron una entrevista en inglés en Taiwán. Ah, ok. Sí, y, y así el trabajo también. Me toca viajar, hoy por lo menos el otro mes voy para Oklahoma, para Nueva York. Ahí a fuerza lo tiene que hablar uno. Sí, sí, claro. Pero, pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos, poco a poco. Excelente. Sí. Eso es importante. Sí. Realmente importante. Y le felicito. En, en, lo, en, los, en los negocios igual, eh. 
eh, le dicen a uno, ¿saben inglés de este lado? No saben inglés de este lado y es bien penoso. ¿no? <risa> Para los seminarios, yo he ido a seminarios. Sí. Y, 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 y he tenido que apartarme de lo que no saben, porque ni modo. Porque ah, no. fluido no puedo hablar así. Okay. Me está costando. Sí. ¿verdad? Pero hay, pero como le digo, ahí vamos. He tenido experiencia uh -huh. este, este. Porque hasta yo me admiro desde de, de marzo, estoy estudiando, estudiando. Ahí ah, ok. Sí. Excelente. Ok. No pare, siga hasta que llegue el sí. final. Y tenemos que aprender. Ok. Ok, yeah. thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for It's, being here. See you tomorrow, teacher. Ok, bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye.